Welcome back everybody, Rumo with Texas All Water Fishing. We are out here a little before the sunrise. Water temp is 71 degrees. And I came out to the Freeport area. Just a simple fact that the winds are gonna pick up today. They're gonna pick up a lot sooner in the Galveston area and a lot sooner a couple other spots that I, were, that I was looking at and wanted to target some fish. Um, with the water temp getting warmer, that's when you start seeing those reds warming up. That's when you start seeing the marsh warming up. So this might be a quick day because, like I said, we do have winds forecasted. They're not going to come as early, but they're going to be here midday. And I'm surrounded by mosquitoes, spraying myself down, and they don't care. But, you know, this is one of those days, you know, the, the weather isn't cooperating. You can see it is completely, totally flat, flat right now. And it's supposed to be blowing near 20 or around 20. And it is dense fog. So, if you like foggy days, this is the time for you. The only good thing is that it's not going to really draw a big crowd on the water now. Thanks for coming back. Subscribe to the channel. Appreciate it. Bell notification. Like. Follow me on social media. All that stuff. Alright, so we're going we're gonna to get in the zone. In the zone. So what is the game plan? The game plan is to catch fish. There's an intersection of crosswood up here. There's a little spot. There's a couple spots where it's a little marshy. Like I said, I have a little window to fish this morning before the winds really pick up. And, you know, I just want to Show you guys a, a few techniques a few tips if you're new to fishing kind of how i do it kind of how i go through and target an area and if you are new to kayak fishing maybe some of this might help you guys all right so i got a few different setups this is a tac 40 and it's on a h2 express bone daddy rod uh gonna fish be fishing with the wedge tail a little probably also switch to gulp and also some other Inger Bait style lures, Inger Bait brand lures. I do have a chatter weight on here. 30 pound fluorocarbon carbon leader, 20 pound braid, and Texas Rattling Chick Head and a chatter weight. So we get double the noise. And I'm getting ready to put some scent on here. Now I have people ask me, does the scent really work? You know what, it doesn't hurt. Um, if you're not repelling the fish or scaring the fish, and use it especially on days like area new areas that you don't know what to expect or places you haven't been in a long time or days where the bite forecast is low because that just means the fish activity isn't going to be where you where you like it or favorable to yourself it's going to be a little difficult to get the fish to bite all right, so we have Christmas Bay right here. You have Churchill Bay right here. There's kind of an intersection. So whenever you have an intersection, intersecting waters, it's always good to so, slow it down and, and fish the area. Let's see. A little bit of nervous water right here. We're gonna... See if we can catch somebody. Somebody made a disturbance right there. There we go. Yep. I said it. Oh, come on. Swimming. Saw a little disturbance on the water, so I just kind of just swim it through. Feels like a little red. Might, hopefully it's a good trout, but it feels like a little red. Uh, I think it's gonna be a trout. Yeah, it's gonna be a nice trout. Nope, little red. Nope. 
little guy. Just towed on himself a little right there. He kind of just towed on himself. I saw him make a little boil and chase and bait. I'm gonna drop the anchor right here. Just kind of feeding him right here in this area, so I don't want to get too close to it. But yeah, he's probably gonna be coming at 18, 18 inches. Yeah, there he goes. Little pup. Mosquito on my hand. Thank you, mosquito. Yeah, just a little pup. I'm gonna measure him. I know he's undersized, but I just like knowing kind of where on my eye is. Is my eye my big eye fish, my small eye fish? But I know he's gonna be undersized. But I think it's gonna be about 18. Oh my gosh! Look at that. He is 20 and a half. That is perfect eating size. If you like to eat reds, that's pretty good. And there's another one right there. He just splashed right behind me. Another guy just splashed behind me. So let me get him on his way. We're not keeping fish today. Although a catch and cook might have been a good idea, but we're not going to keep them today. It's always good karma to, uh, and there's another, something else chasing bait right there. So this might be a good spot to kind of fish for a minute. All right, a little salty head, jig head, and I'm going to gulp it up, I think. All right. Some white gope here. Pink always works great, but we got some white, so. I like the chartreuse tail. It's kind of a little funky bend in him. We'll see how he, how he holds up though. Hopefully he got a little, little hitch in his swim. And the flounder gonna like it. Just put this braided line on here I picked up at the uh, fishing show. <laughs> I hope, I hope it does good, you know. That's a big mullet. I'm gonna fish this grass line going through here and keep my eye out in there and see if I can find a flatty or a red. But really looking for flatties just to see if they they've come back in this area yet and if they have uh, have migrated this far I saw that guy that looked like a predator that looked like a predator fish I hope he has friends with him like oyster nope something's taking my line there we go eat her nose hook come on net uh, something small nope 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 undersized red do it right on his head come on Come on. Uh -huh. I had a stretch for that one. Yeah. Well, <laughs> that's twice I sight casted a redfish. This one might be small too. Sorry, my hat's all crazy, but that's twice I sight cast a redfish. Um, it's, yeah, this guy's going to be undersized, definitely. But yeah, that's. That was nice. That was a, a good fight. Uh, there we go, guy. Yeah, he's a baby. See that little blue hue? He's been eating some crustacean with algae in it. Little guy, a salty head, Jake head right there. And Berkeley Cope, Cheddar Weights. And this guy is just missing. 19 inches just missing 19 with the pinch tail i know somebody corrected me before and be like oh it doesn't look like 19 inches well no it doesn't it looks like it's you know barely missing 17 but then when you pinch that tail 
you get almost an inch just based on how big their tail is so I know there's always that one guy in there you never never happy with life but I am and he is too because he gets to swim on Well, I, that's it, you know, not very, very uneventful day. Got one slot red, a couple little small guys. But, you know, it was just nice to get on the water and uh, always nice to get on the water, but it's just nice to get on the water and just chill, you know, just have a chill day with just me and you guys and kind of show uh, those that are new to kayak fishing um, areas that I target and the reason why I target them and kind of my mindset when I am out here fishing whether I'm fishing a bay or a bayou or even a marsh system and we kind of hit all those on on the little sample size out here Christmas Bay um, Christmas Bay is empty today so that was nice it was nice to kind of kind of be out here and kind of chill I saw one other wade wader and kayaker on my way back in but that's it there's three cars here most most of the time especially if you come during a weekend it can be very very busy very pressure out here so you really have to bring your a game when you're fishing or bring some live bait but you know i had a good time i hope you did too if you haven't subscribed to the channel please subscribe and those that are subscribers and are regular viewers please come back nice to see you again Hopefully, next time, you guys catch me hooking up. Thanks.